Volkswagen updated the Beetle last year. They shed the chick car image, the real cartoonish looking version of that car, and went to a more chiseled, masculine, lower and wider looking Beetle that definitely was attractive. And it's selling well in Canada. Now we have this car, a Cabriolet, building on the heritage of the Volkswagen Beetle, and they've done a fabulous job of making it modern, but also true to its heritage. There's no question when you see this car from 5 feet or 500 feet that it's a Volkswagen Beetle. We're here in the south of France, Nice, driving around the beautiful countryside along the Mediterranean in a convertible Volkswagen Beetle. Doesn't get better than this. Here you've got a car that's all new and really plays on the heritage of the Beetle. It's got that little bit of a bustle in the back so that you can instantly recognize it as a Beetle convertible. It's squat, low to the ground, but gives plenty of room inside and out back. With seating for four, you have a great option with this Beetle. You've got lots of trunk space, you've got lots of seating space. More so than that, it's versatile trunk space. The rear seat is split folding and has a pass through into the trunk. So whether you're two up in the car, three people, four, you've always got enough space for friends, you've always got enough space for luggage, and if you want, you can go by yourself. Here you've got a roof that goes from completely sealed with one push of a button, 9.5 seconds later, your wide open, unlimited headroom, really nice, really fast, and you can actuate the roof up to 50 kilometers per hour. The Volkswagen Beetle is one of the top 10 selling cars of all time. The Cabriolet began production in 1949 and has been a staple in the Beetle lineup for generations. There's no real grill to speak of, just a large air opening along the bottom. That's a tip of the hat to the Beetle's Porsche heritage. Inside is as much about function as it is heritage, making this a practical four-seater open road car. Now we've got the roof down because we can, but with the roof up, you have a smaller back window and the what would be the C pillar at the back is a little bit thicker, but most people have driven a convertible, you're used to that, and parking you have to adjust. Now with the roof down, of course, outward visibility is fantastic. The only motor for 2013 will be the 2.5 liter, five cylinder that produces 170 horsepower. Now the car we have here is the 200 horsepower, two liter direct injection engine, the same one that's used in the GTI. And while we're on the subject of the GTI, I should point out that the rear suspension in the Beetle Cabriolet is a modified version of the GTI suspension, which means you get independent suspension. On the base Beetle, the regular coupe, it has a torsion beam design similar to the Jetta. So that's nice, you get better handling. This car really feels well made. They've done a really good job of incorporating the old styling with all the latest technology, of course. Now, I mentioned the base model. That's going to have an automatic transmission. In 2014, the two-liter direct injection engine will be available with either a manual transmission or the dual-clutch version that we have in this car. Okay, here's something that's a lot of fun. Up to 50 kilometers an hour, you can put the roof down. Now, it looks a little odd to people that are standing on the sidewalk, but that's really convenient because sometimes at a traffic light, it doesn't always work. And it takes only nine and a half seconds. Okay, I'm gonna put it up. I'm doing 40 kilometers an hour. And up goes the roof. Oh, there's a spot of rain. Time to put the roof up. Oh, that only took nine seconds. How cool was that? Now you have to hand it to Volkswagen and their design team. Whenever you have an iconic shape like this, when you change it in any way, it can be problematic. But they've done a great job of losing the cartoonish shape of the previous model and morphing this into a car that is not just going to appeal to women, but also to men. Great looking car with the roof up or the roof down, usable seating for four, a nice trunk with a pass through now, and a great power plant, especially the two liter turbocharged engine, the same one that's in the GTI. If you want this particular model, you have to wait until the fall of 2013, but the two and a half liter five cylinder is available now. Looking for a small car? See all the reviews of the latest models at drivingtelevision.com.